Vic on that Tracer right off the bat, trying to get around for a flank. And if they can do that, ooh, they really need to watch out for Gray, though. He could cause a lot of problems, but that's uh, Vic winning the early duel. And oh, actually, wow, that's a huge he gets bit. It. Oh, I predicted that one. Yeah. I didn't think it ended right there. Yeah, Good forced, man advantage for Sweden here. Forced him back oh. to the health back with the recall, and then there was no actual translocator left for him, so very yeah. fast assault here by Sweden. Oh, they did lose to Vic right after that, but Sweden has a great position on the point right now, and that just might be it. Portugal re-engaging. But we'll see if Reinforce can force people back. Chips high and gets that kill into Horthic right away. And it looks like Sweden should continue to follow through and take point A. Yeah, Sebasai barely living there on the Lucio, popping back inside the Winston shield with about 10 HP remaining. Yeah. Keeps their heels up at least, so doing a lot of damage from that support line. There's the sound barrier now for Portugal. This is their chance to come in here. Swoosh trying to cut away at the back line, though. Starting to get back a little bit low. He is down. There's a transcendence for Sweden. They want to complete their point B push right here. And they're going to go ahead and pop Kyler out of the mech, and that should be about it. EMP, though, coming in again for Gray. Maybe an opportunity. Nope. For Portugal, I just don't didn't even finish the sentence. No, no, no you don't <laughs> even have to finish that sentence. The EMP yeah. is not going to do enough in order for them to take this fight. Man. Payload still moving as Sweden picks off the remaining members. Very one-sided push so far. You know, uh, it's going to be a miracle for Portugal to get on this payload. Yeah, moving in the payload. Where's the stop? They got to get out there. Portugal jumping in. Last ditch effort. The EMP gets popped, and Orthic does get one kill early on. Addicted, though. I think he killed himself with his own pulse bomb. And it's a brawl on the payload. Sweden may be pushed back a little bit, but it is close right now. There's the kill from Tvik on the Malzasa. That's exactly what Sweden needed. They are going to finish it. Oh, not quite. Addicted taken out. Should be safe back behind the boxes. And now a more measured engage for Portugal. They're going to come in with a sound barrier. Sweden immediately responding. They're going to dive deep and try to split Portugal up right now. Falling back to the payload. Oh, two kills. Kyler gets two with the self-destruct. Whoa, that was not what Sweden was expecting. And this is the opportunity Portugal's been looking for. Vic needs to come up big with this pulse bomb. Got to wait for that transcendence to end, and then we'll see what he can do. Portugal getting a lot of kills, though. I think this point is pretty much done. Yeah, Vic taken out. Doesn't bother using that ult. I think Sweden got bit by that a little bit there. Well, they were posted behind the payload, so positioning yeah. was vulnerable. They were grouped up. And more fights on the payload now. Reinforce going to go ahead and pop that Primal Rage, and that's actually going to draw the Transcendence from Portugal. We'll see what they can get. Soundberry used a little bit early there, and Sweden can just fall back and kind of let this one go a little bit. They stop it, but they don't really commit to anything. Now that the sound barrier is out of the way, they can go back in again. We'll see if they can win this fight. Target selection just not there for Portugal. Zephyrsai yeah. has been getting so low over the course of this entire map, but they're never quite able to finish him off. And then he just heals up and re-enters the fray. Yeah, and this may be about it, guys. Remember, Portugal needs to finish their offensive round to have any chance to keep going in this map. And reinforce with the kill on the gray is going to maybe stop it right there, right now. Self-destruct comes in for Sweden, just trying to force Portugal off the point. They go ahead and drop the transcendence as well, and it is desperation mode for Portugal, and they just have nothing left at this point. Kyler taken out by that pulse bomb, and his OT ticks away. Sweden is going to take Hollywood. Uh, very nicely done from Sweden. We had questions, what would this team's synergy look like with very few uh, actual batches of practice under their belt? But yeah. That was impressive regardless. Got a right clicks, man. You know Greg can land those. Tvik running around the outside, sound barrier to contest with, but as soon as it's out, he can drop that pulse bomb. Transcendence now coming in for Portugal, though. And Sweden biding their time. Here we go. Pulse bomb comes in, and that's one onto Addicted. They can pop. Yeah, it did pop Diva out of the suit as well. And Tvik going on a tear, man, on that tracer. And Sweden should be able to hold this point. Well, Tvik nailed the pulse bomb to the Diva mech. Oh, and yeah. then the drive-by around that managed to catch Addicted as Diva was in flight Great. here. Transcendent's going to be absolutely crucial. And they get the proper timing this time. Well, Sweden going in hard early. Trying to flip this point. Portugal backed up a little bit. Vic claims an early victim in Malzasa. Has that pulse bomb again already. And again, as soon as this Transcendence is up, this bomb is going to get stuck to somebody. You know it. There we go. Like I said, man, that's what happens. Great. Stuck by Tavik, and Sweden should be able to clean this one up and flip the point right back again. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy for them. Sweden again, second on the support ult, so they've got the tail end of the fight in their favor with all that transcendence healing. Yeah. Uh, Portugal can't quite burst through the damage, and the patience there from Tavik. That's right. 
needs to change the metal composition. Man, too easy for that pulse bomb to stick. Sound barrier for Sweden as Portugal tries to engage yet again, and Swoosh pops that attack visor. Sound barrier for Portugal, though. They're gonna try to make their way onto the point they need to. It's 99%. We're into OT for Sweden. Reinforce does get picked off by Gray. So they're sans a tank right now, but to Vic, another pulse bomb, another opportunity for Sweden, and we'll see if they can close this one out right now. I don't think we're gonna have that opportunity, Don. Looks like Portugal's gonna get control of this yeah, point might. again. And that wow. was Sweden. They thought they had it in the bag, Doa. As we got a approach, they can push this slowly. Don't need to rush in. There we go, Manitin trying to zone out that bridge. Now the transcendence for Sweden. As they come in, it's Disco Fever, and it's attack visor popped on the side of Portugal. Orthic trying to get something done with this, but Sweden comes in, actually addicted, responding with a couple kills of his own, and the engage for Sweden on the point was a bit scattered. Tavik needs to come up big with his pulse bomb. We are at 99 to 99 right now, and Sweden with the sound barrier might have enough. Nice kill from Tavik onto Gray. Another pulse bomb comes in. Addicted does take down Swoosh, but Sweden with the man advantage for the moment. No, I take that back. Portugal getting people on the point in time. And they may claim this point early. Uh, Chips is here on the Sombra. They are going to try and stagger this one out. So Sweden yeah. attempting to maintain this control. This would be quite the hold if they're able to actually prevent it. Sound barrier for Portugal now. And they look like they're ready to close this one out. There goes OT in Portugal. I can't help it. Just, it just comes to me sometimes. Wow, Mausasa going down first again. And how many attacks from Portugal have we seen that in? They're going to commit anyway with the sound barrier. Sweden with their own as well. See if they can hold it back. Now Portugal drops that transcendence. Self-destruct, not catching anybody. Manitin does get the kill onto Horthic, though, and reinforce. There's his cue for the Primal Rage, as Sweden just tries to claim this point. They're into overtime right now, 99 to 0. Portugal coming back in now that Mozasa's back to life, but Chip's already ready with the transcendence. No kills coming quite yet, but there we go. Kyler goes down on the soldier, and there's the cleanup for Sweden. Yeah, that should just about wrap it up, Doha. Sweden, when they're on the defensive on the point, have providing this impenetrable Yet hold. again, they're over 90% now, Those are, so this is their opportunity to take Li Zhang Tower. Gray with the hack on the swoosh, just trying to keep him down on the ground. And for Mausasa to take advantage of, and Gray actually picks up the kill in the end with that. Tavik on the outskirts of the fight nearly has that pulse bomb yet again. Gets the kill onto Horthic, though. Ooh, but Kyler comes in for the response, and we're into overtime yet again. Sweden trying to end this right here, right now, but I think they're gonna need to wait. Portugal's gonna flip this point. Portugal's disengaged when they saw the support ultimate hit them. Oh, he has nowhere to go to. Hacked health back, causing oh, him problems. Man. Not gonna be able to top up right there. Tavik doing his best to carry on this point. Uh, Tavik's got to put this Team Sweden on his back right now if they want to win this round and win the map. It is 99 to 99, and there's another EMP for Gray, and that might push it over the edge for Portugal. Self-Destruct comes in and takes down Kyler, but it's still fairly even on the point. The way the respawns are coming in, this one could take a little while, but I think Portugal may actually have it right here. OT ticking away, Zebesai can't really delay this, and Portugal will actually take the map. Well, we are all... What? <laughs> tied up? Uh, yeah, we're all yeah. tied up. And they did just a wonderful job. Again, Sweden's attacks have been so much worse than their defenses when it came to that control point. And yeah. that's where we saw the shot calling from Portugal. What they said was their strength really shined through. Far because Sweden, you know, about a minute 30 left. You got a good couple attacks. But if they commit right here, this is the big one. Swoosh with the sound barrier to try to make that Dragon Blade work. Has to deal with the Genji on the other side, and Orthic pushes him away. Meanwhile, though, Sweden does get the edge. Kyler gets the kill on the Reinforce with the self-destruct, but overall, it looks like Sweden is pulling ahead a little bit in this fight. They're getting some control meter built up right now, and as Addicted falls, looks like Sweden is finally going to take point A. Yeah, long push there. They're gonna get it with about a minute remaining. The hesitation that we saw in Hollywood. And you see better coordination. They're not getting totally. picked off. They've changed it up. Here we go again. The EMP comes out as the sound barrier for Portugal drops as well. Kills immediately. That kill feed is all blue versus red, man. That was a devastating defense by Portugal. So Sweden has a very strong attack. They have to make it work now. Sure enough, here we go. Sweden coming in. They need this to work. And Swoosh gets one already with the Nano Blade, but they need more. There's a nice sleep into a kill on Mozasa. Sweden finally finding an opportunity here. They're building that control meter up. How long can Portugal delay? They've got some ults to use for this. And Kyler getting the kill onto Swoosh with the self-destruct is a pretty decent start. 
Sweden comes in with the Diva ult as well. Again, just trying to build that control meter, but Portugal has the response. And that's it. Horthic is going to be able to clean this one up to Vic so low on the side, but the respawns oh, yeah. are going to be overwhelming for Portugal. Sweden couldn't execute in that one window that they had. Uh, they used everything they had, and, you know, I guess they didn't have the sound barrier at that point. Uh, uh, it's flank around the side using the Lucio speed boost. Yeah, just trying to shield their way for them to get on the high ground, and now they're going to drop down and force that close range engage with Sweden. At least that's the idea. Anyway. Yeah, Hortha can't really get onto the point, though, so it's going to have to be a later attack, and they're coming in against these hacked health packs. Yeah, the idea is to zone out Sombra so, so she can't rehack it, but they need to stay alive here. Porthic a little bit low. Portugal back on the point yet again. Porthic still looking for those kills. Oh. And again, look at this. They're just guarding that health pack, trying to make it so that chips can't get back to it. But you need to kind of keep people alive while you do that. And this is kind of stalled out a little bit. Yeah, chips nearly with the MP. He has the MP again already. There's attack visor. Pop early by Horthic right now. They need to take point A. EMP comes in, chips drops. Horthic with a couple kills. And Sweden trying to buy time with that self destruct. But Portugal has the edge here. It looks like they're are gonna probably be able to take point A unless Reinforce can come up with a huge play with this Primal Rage. Nope, sound barrier though for Portugal. And that should be about it. Yeah, nano boost. Again, it's gonna have to go onto Mozasa if they wanna make an early play onto point B. Here we go. They are going to give the nano boost to Mozasa right off the bat. Sweden drops that sound barrier as Portugal comes in. Remember, Portugal only needs that first tick. And they are halfway there already. They're getting the kills they need. And they may have the win here on Volskaya right here. Tavik desperately trying to keep his team back in it. Manitin on the point again. But there's that tack visor for Horthic. And that is going to be it. Portugal will win Volskaya. And they have a 2-1 lead over Sweden. Absolutely fantastic from Portugal. Clutching it out. And the combination of the nano boost onto the Winston. The self-destruct zoned everybody off the point from Sweden. No real response response possible and when you only need that one tick those two ultimates can buy you the space you yes. need portugal on the defense sweden on the offense here as they try to push this payload portugal with a pretty far forward defense and it looks like for now anyway sweden is able to kind of take advantage of that early pick on the gray and to Vic finding those flanks on the outside the uh, high ground has been pretty well contested by sweden at this point uh, interesting that they wanted to play that far forward when they had the Ana combined with the Zenyatta there. Usually Ana used for more passive defenses, but Sweden going to be rolling right through this first point on the market. And Portugal not going to be in a very good position to defend it all on point A. Yep. That might be a pretty quick point A take for Sweden here. Well, I wish we had seen the beginning of that, but that's fine. I'm not exactly uh -huh. sure why things ended up that way, but we are going wow. to see Portugal uh, try for at least one more engagement, even though they have been zoned out. And here comes Swoosh with the Dragon Blade. Now we'll see what we can get. Gray goes down very early. It seems like he's been picked pretty consistently so far in this map. That ninja to pick back on the point. Immediately again, sound barrier for Sweden. People are getting a little bit low here. Gonna wait out that Primal Rage. Actually, why not just kill Mozas? I suppose that works as well. No kills from the self-destruct, but it does give Portugal time to get onto the point right now. Gray finds the kill on the Reinforce. And Tavik, again, you know, waiting for that pulse bomb. May not even need it, though. And Sweden looking like they're in a pretty good position to close this one out. But the respawns are coming in. And there's Barth Orthic with the ult. But nope, not gonna get a whole lot done with it. Not with Swoosh getting in there with the left click. And Sweden, a long, drawn-out fight on the point here, but it looks like they're finally going to grind their way through to point B. They are, and had a port. Picks up on that high ground, and there's the self-destruct. Nice angle. Does he get anyone with it? No, not quite. Zones Portugal off for the moment, and creates a couple opportunities for Sweden. They're need, going to need a little bit more. That payload, not quite moving yet, but maybe now is the time. No, after the transcendence is done, let's see what they can get happening. Yeah, it looks yeah, like they, they are going to be it. able to get it right, right through go. to the end. So only yeah, Sweden up on the high ground, and here comes Horthic dropping down with that Dragon Blade. Vic with a kill into Addicted already, but Horthic trying to equalize. Transcendence comes out and reinforce very low on the outside of this fight. Chased down by Horthic, and Portugal should be able to keep pushing this payload. Yeah, Sweden, you can see them kind of trying to get to the back lines, but it seems like it's a little bit too late for that to work out. Yeah, it is. They're going to be forced off the payload eventually as Zebosai is cut down by Horthic. Still a good stall, though, from Sweden, and you're going to be okay with that for Team Sweden. Yeah, both ultimates actually on the support side. There's a sound very used transcendence for Portugal now. 
And wow, long range kill on a reinforcer. Vindictive got those last couple hit points out with the left click. Sweden comes into the transcendence. Nice stick. He gets Zebesai with that. And Portugal rolling forward here. Tivet can't equalize with his own pulse bomb. And man, Portugal just rolling Sweden right now. Over the soldier to get back. Swoosh has got to make it work. And he's got to get back lines. Takes out Fat immediately. Horthic trying to defend the rest of his team right now. Getting back there. Swoosh pops Kyler out of the mech. Zebesai with a couple. Fragging out on that Lucio. And Sweden may just barely, barely have what it takes to hold this one. We're going to be into overtime. We are. And Malzasa alone on the point right now. Transcendence. Almost saves Zebesai, but not quite. And Sweden, despite that, win the fight. They hold in overtime, and that is going to be Sweden taking Dorado and at least forcing that tie in this four-map set. Sweden's retreat before that last fight was absolutely crucial because Swoosh had died to Mozasa, and he's died with the Dragon Blade still up. So there was a chance for them to get back. Had reinforced died, not been able to re-engage back onto the point and buy that little bit of time.